Hello YouTubes! Man, I've been busy setting up the workshop for the trick-or-treaters to come in. I've been getting the yard ready and putting all the stuff away and it dawned on me, man. I've still got two boxes from Stilpies I have got to open. We've got to put them in their place in the haunt. So I thought, let's take a little bit of time out. Let's do that right now. Uh, first and foremost, I want to say to the post office, $12.55 shipping. That's a little better than the last $50 one for my Mumra headdress. That was crazy. So I've had these boxes for a while. Uh, like I said, I've been so busy in the yard, haven't really had a chance to get to anything. So I figured, hey, let's crack these bad boys open, put them in their place, and let's see what I got from Alan. Again, if you guys ain't watching Alan's live streams on YouTube every night, I'll link his channel below in the description. Uh, Stilpiestudios.com, go get you some. We're all uh, watching Alan build like three, four nights a week. He's on a lot, man. So uh, go get yourself some Stilpiest and show Alan some love. All right. So we got two of these boxes, about the same size. All right, let's go across. All right, let's be careful not to cut anything. All right, I don't know what's in what, so you guys will know with me. Okay, we got invoice, you don't need that. Oh dudes, I love this, I love seeing this green color. Plus it makes a great prop for uh, working on tarps and stuff, so I thank you Alan for the Oh, okay. okay, I ordered this one first. I forgot about this guy. <laughs> oh, man. Freaking Alan. Oh, my God, guys, he kills it every freaking time. This thing is so gnarly. Oh, God, I love it already. That is so awesome. Alan, you and Shannon rock. You guys are top shelf, man. I love you guys. Uh, oh, look, there's a little creepy. Oh, it's a little castle. A little castle pendant. You probably can't see that. I'll have to bring it up real close to the camera. I'll put it on the table when I show you guys... Uh, these props busted out. So I gotta be careful with this stuff because Shannon always sends extras. Look, there's little pumpkins. How cool is that? I'll probably stick in my brain, but it'll probably vibrate off. Oh, a little cutesy ghost. And another little pumpkin. How cool is that? Thank you, Shannon. Okay, now that I got me a new work tart, make sure, I'm... oh, look at this. There's another charm in here. Oh, I'm sure my daughter will snatch this one. It's a little bitty pumpkin charm. So I'll show you guys those when we get this thing out of the box. Make sure there's nothing else in here. All right. Okay, guys, so as you know, or maybe you don't know, uh, Alan has a dead possum that he's made for uh, another costume, which he's kind of put on the back burner since uh, Transworld and everything was kind of uh, kaput this year. But uh, I asked for this one to be extra gooey. <laughs> Look at this dead possum. Look how freaking cool he is. Oh, my God. He's so gnarly and hairy and gooey. Oh, look at that little freaking nightmare right there. Ain't he freaking adorable? Oh my god, that is so freaking awesome. He's got his little tongue hanging out of his head. Oh, Alan, man. I don't know where he comes up with this stuff. It's freaking awesome. A dead possum, you guys got to get you some, man. And I think this thing was like relatively cheap. It was like, I think less than 50 bucks of shipping. Um, it's just so cool, man. I mean, this is going to be great for my Swamp Witch. I want to hang it on my uh, Swamp Witch shelf. So it looks like it's a meal she's got drying out for later. So we're going to set this little guy here for now in front of my uh, brain in a jar. And we'll get to that second box. <laughs> Look at that face. That little tongue hanging out. Oh, them beady black eyes. I just love it. Alan, sincerely, you are so talented. I, I love your sense of humor. And just some of the stuff you make just bowls me over, man. You're an awesome dude. I love you. Uh, and here's our second box. This one I know I saw. And this one I didn't think. When I first heard Alan was going to make this, I thought, how the hell is he going to do that? Like, is that even possible to make this cool? And when I saw the final sculpt, I was like, oh, man, got to have it for my Swamp Witch. It's awesome. Uh... I do a swamp theme, basically, a, a swamp haunt theme. And when I saw this, and I saw the first one get painted, I thought, oh, crap, man. I gotta have me some of this. So, again, thank you to Alan for sculpting this. All right, here we go. Don't need that. Still beast green again, gotta love it. You know something, when you see this green, you know something's good coming behind it. So, uh-oh. Let me see, folks. Oh, I got stuff falling out of the box already again. Thank you, Shannon. But well, my daughter's gonna have a field day with all this. Let's pull this guy out. Let's see what all extra she sent. Oh, there's stuff gonna be falling out again. Yep, here we go. Okay, I got another little castle pendant. Again, I'll show these guys up close when we get closer. Oh, we got some little fall leaves. That's pretty cool. I might be able to use that for little projects if my daughter don't steal them. Ooh, a little glass pumpkin. Check him out. A little amber colored one. So, we got possible other projects to build. Oh, and again, there's one more in the box. All right. And another little pumpkin charm, which will probably end up 
in my daughter's room, I'm sure. All right, guys, let's get rid of the box. Okay, let me pull this guy out. He is already looking freaking awesome. Oh my God, look at this guy. This is Terror Pin. How freaking cool is he? This is a mask. Uh, Alan sells it on his website. I had him foam fill it because pretty much everything I own from Alan is foam filled since I don't wear masks. But just look at the mug on this guy, man. I mean, look at the texture on him. He's got cabochon eyes. I told Alan, please, extra slobber, extra drool. And look at that mess, man. Look how great he looks. That is just so freaking cool. I'm going to go ahead and bring the camera in, and I'll show you both these guys up close. You guys just got to see this, man. It's awesome. All right, you tubes. Let me show you this possum. Look at the little gnarly details on him. <laughs> Look at that face, man. His little eyeballs. Oh, my God. He looks so crazy looking. Oh, uh, he's foam filled. That's awesome. I'm going to curl him up out of his tail. And I'm going to try and stick him on the witch's shelf. But look at this little gnarly guy. Oh, my God. I almost don't want to stick him on the shelf. I want to take him in the house and put him on my bookshelf. Look how freaking great that is. Alan, you are freaking nuts, man. That is so freaking cool. Look at that little guy. <laughs> he's just so heinous looking. Now, check out the terror pin. Oh, man. Look at that thing. God, he's got so much freaking texture, and this thing looks just like a snapping turtle. And again, I asked Alan for extra drool, and boy, did he deliver. Look at all that silicone there. He's got cabochon eyes in it. And then again, Alan foam fills them for me, because I don't really wear them as a mask. I'm not much of a mask guy. But I thought, man, you know, with my witch, uh, my witch swamp theme, uh, I thought, man, he's too cool not to have. Uh, he looks awesome. I mean, just look at that guy, man. I mean, look how rough he is. That's awesome. I've got this old plaque that I had done years ago, and I didn't use anything for it. So I thought, man, maybe I can actually put him on the plaque if he'll fit, because I didn't know how big he was going to be when I got him. And, oh, man, it looks like he fits. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and foam this guy to the board. I'm going to throw a couple of screws in him, and we're going to hang him on the wall, man. And then we'll hang the dead possum up, too. I'm going to try and put him up where I want him. So you guys stick around. And we're going to put this guy on the wall, man. Look how freaking awesome he is. Man, Alan, you just killed this sculpt. He's freaking amazing, man. Look at that. Awesome. All right, guys. I'm going to hang this thing on the wall. Okay, YouTubes. Here's a little close-up of all the little charms and stuff Shannon sent along in the box with the terror pin and the, uh, the dead possum. So I'll give you guys a close-up look. It's just super sweet of her. Thank you, Shannon. Uh, I'm sure my daughter will get to these before I do. So now I want to show you guys, I've got uh, Terror Pin up on the wall. I've got the possum where he's going for Halloween. Let's take a look. All right, YouTubes, here we go. I got the possum hanging upside down on the witch's shelf with the roots and dried flowers and shrunken heads and skull trophies and stuff. I think he's going to be perfect here for when the kids come in and come get their treat bags. Uh, and they're going to have to see all this stuff all lit up and stuff at night. And then I got Terror Pin up there in the corner next to Wolfie hanging out. I eventually want to have a bunch of shark jaws and skulls and stuff I have put up on the wall. i got to plaque those guys up too. But I think these guys are going to look awesome together when the kids come in and get the garage, look in the, go in the garage for their, uh, for their treat bags. But man, Terrapin just looks so cool up there. I mean, look at that guy. How freaking awesome is he, man? And then I got my uh, purple boar on there, my blue boar stuff. And uh, basically, I'm just waiting for Halloween, guys. I'm working on the garage every day, and the next time you see this place... Uh, It'll be in my uh, Halloween haunt tour for the inside and the outside of the workshop. So uh, that's coming real soon, any day now. Okay, YouTubes, I got Terrapin mounted on the wall. I went ahead and used, ironically, pond and stone great stuff. It was all I had. This is actually black great stuff. It's awesome stuff. Uh, I'm ready to go for Halloween. I'm working in the garage every day. So I got my new props in place for Halloween. I'm waiting for the kiddos to show up. The next time you guys see this place, it'll be all decked out for Halloween. So, uh... If you guys don't know who Alan is, you don't have a still piece in your life, your lives are empty. I'm going to link Alan's channel below. You guys need to go watch him. I'll link his website. Whatever I can, I'll link below. And if there's anything you guys want or you want something custom made, hey, just ask Alan. Drop him an email. He's the easiest guy to talk to. Watch his streams and learn something. He is a wealth of free information, streaming four or five times a week on his channel. So go get you some still piece in your life. And thank you guys for watching. Until I see you again, which should be soon, keep it evil. Thanks for watching, guys.